Hello everybody, this is Nia Filer and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between September 26th and October 3rd and this year is flying by and I can't say that I'm sorry to see it go although we do have 2021 and this whole decade is like intense <clears throat> much to look forward to but I'll be glad to put 2020 behind me um, how about you? So I know we're all depressed. I know we're all anxious. I know we're all unsatisfied and frustrated with so many things right now. And frustration is a key word for what's happening in the sky this week. And a and, and need, a tremendous need for a breakthrough, for stepping ahead, for finding the power to deal with things, to do it correctly and this feeling that the wheels are still stuck. Of course, uh, I'm talking about uh, another square between uh, Mars and uh, Saturn coming up on the 30th. It's the last of these squares for this year, I hope. Um, no, who knows? Yeah, I hope it is the last. But nevertheless, this is a time like we could feel that we want to push ahead, but something's still stopping us. The gears are still not in motion. And how we deal with that frustration in our life, how we deal with, even though the situation is the way it is, making baby steps to actually set the mortar, you know, uh, so we could you know, uh, streamline change later on. That, you know, make all the little things that you can make right now. Do all the little things that you can do in order to, A, assure yourself that you are in a process of change and building, and B, working towards a time that would be mature and, and ripe, and that that change would just be delivered naturally that all that we'll need to do in order to set sail is break a bottle and the sheep would the sheep would uh, 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 you know tumble down to the waters gently we are uh, in a week packed with energies all kinds of energies good energies, a lot of vibrance, a lot of uh, entrepreneurship, a lot of craftsmanship and uh, artistry and um, creativity and sexuality and sensuality and initiative. But also angers and as I said before frustrations and great impulsivity that we would need to control. We are heading into a full moon in Aries that is going to be conjunct Kaima, the wounded healer, and squaring Jupiter and Pluto and Saturn that are conjunct. Giving this Aries moon in the ninth degree of Aries, and you could look at your charts and see if you have any planets or points over these degrees, the ninth degree of Aries, the ninth degree of Libra, the ninth degree of Capricorn, the ninth degree of Cancer. And if you do, you would be more affected by this full moon. Now, since it is conjunct the wounded healer, this is a sensitive time, a time that we could feel enough is enough. We, we want to end this abusive relationship whether it's with ourselves or with somebody or with something or with some place and we <clears throat> rebel in a sense or we lash out or we do something that is really hurtful um, towards ourselves or others and what I want to remind us is that within this energy doing things right you know, going through the motions in a moral and ethical way would cause us to look back on this intense week and give ourselves a tap on the back and have a small smile upon our face. Happy that we did the way we did, even though 
it was hard. Um, and this square to Jupiter and to Saturn and to Pluto makes this full moon, this energetic peak of the month, much more transformative and dramatic and totalic and immersive and, and wisening and introspective. And there's something about mature, maturement that comes into place with Saturn squaring this moon and believing in our own abilities, not dismissing our own power and not overestimating it. So let's take down, uh, let's zoom in to the days of this week, Saturday the 26th pretty somber day with the moon squaring Mars and conjunct Saturn it's a good day to cheer yourself up in any kind of way and keep a happy light mooded atmosphere that's right George yeah you want to come say hello yes hello you want to come say hello yes come say hello no okay uh, Sunday the 27th Mercury, right, Georgia. Mercury is going to go into Scorpio, and that makes all of us for the next couple of weeks more immersive, more symbiotic, um, more intense in our communications and our words and our ideas, and um, more introspective. It's a great time to do a lot of self-work and shadow work and think about our own protocols. But it's also time that we want to excavate and, and, and enlighten these darkened places outside and many revelations can come on a more public level and or on a public or on a personal level as well excuse me or on a personal level so um, and we have to watch it not to say words that are too intense hurtful or powerful we have to understand that our words can hurt at these times and definitely a time that you know conspiracies can flourish um, other than that on that day the moon will be squaring Uranus so it's a, a bit of an unstable day allow yourself to be flexible and step out of the box Monday the 28th looks like a good day <clears throat> um, a lot of energy in the sky and creativity um, it's a good day to be outside doing some activity or do some art and then on the 29th we are having this vibrance of Venus trining Mars which is affecting throughout the week but this is like the peak of it and it gives a lot of energy and vitality and kind of a lighter atmosphere and a more capable attitude regarding our self-value, regarding our relationships, the way we provide money and uh, satisfaction to ourselves in our lives. And basically that's just, I love this aspect. It, it brings a lot of good things, especially at a, um, at a time like this. And Saturn is going to start moving forward and we could all mature and straighten ourselves out in a more ordinary manner. Things are going to be a little bit more straightforward from now on and that's a good thing. It is a sensitive day because the Sun is opposing Chiron on the 29th. So really be careful, you know, it's not about not touching the pain. It's about being sensitive with yourself and others. It's about, you know, wearing those silk white gloves when you touch this papara, papari, you know, that won't crumble in your hand. It's about understanding it and tending to it, but it's not about, you know, um, being angry with yourself or others for how things are. Um, and then on the 30th, we could feel the frustration in its highest as Mars squares Saturn direct uh, exactly. Um, throughout the day that energy dissipates a little bit there's good energy in the sky but 
that square to Saturn is going to be there throughout the week so yeah um, could be kind of an intense day that we could feel things might get stuck a little bit and we need to have a longer breath um, the energies are building up and building up and building up towards Friday the second the full moon in Aries squaring Jupiter and Venus is heading into Scorpio as well I'm sorry into Virgo uh, heading into Virgo as well and um, so we're having this intense energy in the sky that I talked about in the beginning of the video and then um, Venus heading into Virgo which is a sign she feels not so comfortable in because Virgo is all about satisfaction and enjoyment and in Virgo you know she just sees what needs amendment all the time and she keeps on working and she doesn't like that but we could be working on amendment that causes self-value and love and beauty and and a true essence in our life at these next four weeks which is a good thing um, and then Saturday watch out don't be too obsessive don't be too uh, to total don't be too extreme and don't be too impulsive or angry or judgmental because there is a square to Pluto from the moon there's a square to Saturn and the moon is on Mars so that square between Mars and Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter is heightened and as you know Mercury is opposing uh, all of that at this time so you know fire and brimstone um, in the sky especially regarding our mind and the way we discuss things and our words and what we believe and our need to go forward already in a way that is straightforward that we could trust again you know the disbelief uh, laying around is just immense people don't know what to believe anymore people don't know what is true and what isn't listen if I open up the Discovery Channel and you know I see documentaries about um, rednecks and I love these documentaries and I love rednecks <laughs> rednecks going in the mountains looking for the, um, the Mothman and the Bigfoot and the Sasquatch and the um, I don't know so many the, the giant white tiger and all of these you know and they actually present evidence of these things occurring and happening and people picture them and and UFOs you know and ancient astronaut theorists and suddenly we we understand that we are living in a world that up to the 50s at least was considered totally science fiction you know totally science fiction understanding that there's life on other planets and that they're visiting all the time so yeah we don't know what to believe anymore and it's so easy to fall prey to all of these conspiracy theories so just continue watching what you're ingesting because we need you to shine right now this is the the peak of times you know it i i feel I all of the time am reminded of uh, John Rowell Tolkien, Ron, uh, Ron, J -R -R Tolkien, Ron R Rowell Tolkien, John Ron, uh, Ronald Rowell Tolkien, yeah, and Lord of the Rings, Gandalf going around this, the, the Middle Earth, raising the flags that this is the critical time, that we need to stand up and shine right now it feels like this moment it feels like this moment and remember all we need for darkness to cast over us is for our candle to stop shining that's all we have both as individuals and as a community and we need each and every one of your lights to brightly shine strongly straightforward with love and kindness unifying or dividing bravely non-violently 
And in these words, it's just, I want to remind you that there's still 25% discount on all courses, private lessons, and readings. If you want them, contact me. All the details are at the end of the slide. I want to thank you for spreading these videos and commenting on them. And may we all live long and prosper. Amen.